Hello everybody. It is 3.34 with a little bit of cloud cover. Um, wrong time testing, but got a little cloud up there. Clouds in the area. So I don't want to saw where the sun is. So yeah. So yeah, today we got this thing out right here. So yeah, this thing right here with the USB and the crazy little solar panel that has more wattage and more volts. This one has 10 watts with uh, two solar panels. So yeah, I'm still managing to charge the smartphone, so you know, just directly, directly from the solar panels. So yeah. So yeah, according to this, it will actually charge just a smartphone from directly at the solar panel, so charger connected, so that's why it's confirmed. And uh, yeah, have it on ultra power save mode, that way it'll give a better chance to charge faster, so yeah. So yeah, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do power pass charge that way this thing will store power as it's charging the smartphone so that way I can still get power from this and uh, it's pretty windy out here it's windy over here where I'm at so not hot or anything it's just really cold I said this is my heating jacket though too so I got my heating jacket it's got a little button right here for heating jacket it's a USB heating jacket so yeah it's got three settings where it's uh, low, medium, and high for in case if I get really freezing cold out here. So, yeah, I'm gonna take this out. Yeah, if I can. Okay, there we go. There we go. It has one USB, no, no dual USB, nothing. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's, it's there. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, if I want to do a parallel, on um, not not long ways like this, but something like this, like have it up, have it up like this. Of course, it'll cover one solar panel, but yeah, since it's uh, since it's during peak hours, they could just have it laying out flat like this. But why not work something like this? Because then it'll because yeah, if you had it like this. I don't know how, how it's gonna work. But yeah, somebody's presumably uh, either have it like this or like this. So yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that right now because the fact that I'm charging stuff, you know, flat. But I know it will increase if not losing too much power output. But and only I just found out possibly. This is my theory. This is my three right here. Um, I just found another solar panel that's like this, but it has a fox on it instead of a squirrel. This is the squirrel, the squirrel version. You know, a picture of the squirrel. But I just found the fox one on Amazon that has more solar panels than this one. So that's the. So yeah, my theory is to get a solar panel pad with more solar panels instead of it'll be still be saying 10 watts but let's see if it'll increase the output on what I was trying to charge right here like in the other video so yeah this is gonna be different right here from where I'm just gonna show y'all so this is the solar panel be much more stronger solar panel that could put out more power so yeah letting this charge right here for right now so yeah, it's a, by the way, that thing right there is a lead acid battery, so it can be charged no longer than 24 hours, but whenever you first got it, you're going to have to charge it when first time hour is, uh, three hours of use for the first time, but when you're solar charging, 
um, just to keep it from, you know, keep this from being overcharged more than 24 hours. Um, you can keep this in the sun for eight hours. Whenever you go to eight hours to school. Because, yeah. That's the plan for this one. I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to plan with that one. With this one, it requires just sun. So this one needs sun. This one can have sun or light. You know, inside the house or some, Because of how good this solar panel is. So, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and connect this. You get, you get, ladies and gentlemen, look at the wires. They're in peak hours now. There we go. It is now charging. It has 9%. 9% of power. So, it'll be a while. So, yeah, this phone, this phone requires, hold on. It has 53% so far. So, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and take in power from the power bank. So, this is the only way I can extend a little bit more USBs. Yeah, 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 ladies and gentlemen, just gonna look at the cord again. Just a minute, look at the cords. Why I get this set up and all that. And uh, yep, yeah, my phone is charging. So, yep, smartphone is charging. It has a energy symbol. Let's see, make sure it has says charger connected. Yep, it says charger connected, and this is how much I'm limiting, only on one power bank. One power bank to store in here. One power bank, one smartphone that I'm going to take with me to play Ingress. And not this phone, it'll be the other phone, the one I'm using to record right now. Samsung, it's a, but the one I'm recording is uh, my Moto G7 Play from Boost Mobile, so yeah. It's charger, charger connected, it has 41%, so, actually not 41%, it has 53%, I mean. It has 53%, I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's there. See, so anyway, yeah, 53%, so yeah. Yep. That's pretty much it, y'all. All that going on. Yeah, this is what I may get at right here. This one right here. The middle, because I'm getting a little bit of cloudy. Cloud and sun. Last time I was recording, I was getting this. But now I'm getting this now. The medium, medium rating. Because, yeah, look at that. The sun right here. A little bit cloudy, and then it's windy. Windy and cold to a point. So I do have this USB. USB uh, heating jacket in case if it gets too cold. But right now, um, right now outside it's a little cold. I mean, I don't need it to cover my technologies to keep them from not getting hot. Also, another thing to note is that this phone is on ultra power save mode. This one has an ultra power save mode capability that way it will not drain, it will not get hot, except being sunshine. But that's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I got a, uh, you know, a battery app in my smartphones, two smartphones, but my Moto G7 Play doesn't. The app itself, I'm going to need to get a different app, a temperature gauge app for my smart, my smartphone that I'm recording from. So, yeah, this is. I'm going to only put power banks in here. Only one power bank in here. That way, this thing will have a battery to store it in. So, it charges my smartphone directly. Pretty good, nicely. So yeah. So right now it's kind of mixed. 
you know, mix uh, sun and cloud right now. Mix, you know, between the two. So if it was this, I'm going to have to leave. Because I got all this stuff, you know, exposed. And this one's not waterproof because the ports and all that is exposed. So yeah. Yeah, this I'm going to have to leave, you know, before this right here happens. The rain. <laughs> so yeah. Yep. Y'all got anything going on, ladies and gentlemen. This one still says 9% right now. Um, this one says 54% right now. I should give out the estimate time of how long it'll take to fully charge. So yeah. I'm gonna check it out. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we got 9% on this power bank. So, the estimate time for this smartphone, Samsung, is the battery. Uh, still says charger connected, but no estimate time yet. The battery will last four days and one hour for on, on Orchard Power Save Mode. For on medium, is one day to eight hours. And with no power saving at all, it's one day to three hours. But still charging currently. 45%. Oh, not 45%. I keep messing up. It's 54% actually. So yeah. And also, I'm going to have to bring the tablet out here. The, you know, the Apple tablet. And see if the tablet will have the at least be able to charge on the solar panel solar panel directly but it's getting this getting this resource right here so just a note this you know this power resource mm. so yeah yep I'll let you know y'all know in the update after a while I'm gonna be doing something else chilling out and all that and play may play on the FM radio with this thing why jump on the jet plane for a bit? I'm gonna have to take the stuff off and hang it somewhere. So yeah. Anyways, bye bye now. Peace, y'all. So we'll be jumping on the jet plane and may upload the video later, later on. So I'll be ending the recording now. Bye bye. And at time.